Hi everyone, uh, Jason Camps here for C Squared Racing, and welcome to episode two of our Reading Racing Rainbow book recommendation C Squared Racing book club special. We don't know what to call this yet. Anyway, uh, let's get started because today we're going to be looking at books that are about racing on a budget, uh, which is what absolutely all of us are doing. Uh, we're all trying to figure out how to uh, pay for our entry fees and buy our tires and pay for our parts and, and fuel and, and all that stuff. And I don't care if you're a local autocrosser or you're a, a SECA majors racer or if you're uh, running a Pirelli World Challenge uh, team, everybody is, is dealing with it. So even the top names are struggling sometimes to, with funding. So uh, these are concepts uh, that matter to all of us. Uh, but we're going to focus today on, on people at the grassroots level and some books that might help you get some ideas and figure out how to get your your racing career started uh, without having to get a bank loan uh, because those are hard to get for motorsports. Anyway, so the first book we're going to look at today comes from the budget road racing world. Uh, this is Go Ahead and Take the Wheel by Dave Brown. Uh, and this was a book that uh, was put out partially with the SECA support. And this is really great. It focuses on SECA club racing mostly, because uh, that's what he does. Uh, but he got there through uh, some other series like autocross, um, uh, SECA solo, things like that. SECA is a great organization to start with if you're interested in that type of sports car racing. Um, and he goes through essentially how to get your career off the ground without breaking the bank. Uh, Everything from you know picking the right series uh, to how to work on your car, uh, how to make the most out of your seat time, how to deal with transportation cost, how to go about sponsorship, uh, all the things that folks that are uh, often at the level where a lot of our drivers are at uh, with C squared racing, um, the, the, you know this is really great to, for them to uh, to understand the techniques and the things to watch out for. Um, where's the best place to spend your money and, and, and where is it a waste and things like that. So uh, a lot of people don't realize that there are some, some cheaper options out there. Uh, there are some ways to get into uh, some budget endurance races where if you split the cost amongst a, a team of drivers, sometimes it doesn't really cost much more than a track day. Uh, and you can go run some of the most famous tracks uh, in the, uh, at least in the United States. Um, you know, for a few hundred dollars, it doesn't always have to cost ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. It doesn't always have to be a million dollar race car. There's budget series where uh, you're not allowed to spend more than a certain amount on your on your car. Actually, uh, twenty four hours of lemons, things like that. So, not the most glamorous race series, but uh, it'll get you it'll get you on a track. Um, and you know, things today with uh, you know simulator racing, things like that. There's there's ways that you can get um, a lot out of racing without having to. Uh, dump a lot of money into it. So this is a great book for for folks that are looking to get started in racing uh, on a budget. Uh, we'd recommend go ahead and take the wheel. Uh, I picked this up when I was trying to figure out how to how to get going and how to grow our team. Uh, it's a real helpful book. We'll have a link to this uh, in the description below. Uh, we'll have links to all the books uh, where you can find them on Amazon. I think this one was I want to say it was a cover price about 15 I think we picked it up for maybe about 10 uh, on sale. Uh, so sometimes you get a deal on Amazon. So we'll put those links there so that you can uh, pick these up yourself. Um, and this will be the uh, first book in our uh, recommended list today. And now onto the second book. And keeping with that theme, that second book is Think Fast. And this is actually recommended by one of our drivers, Ryan Natsky. Um, he uh, told me about this book by Neil Roberts. Uh, it uh, complements that last book pretty well because it talks about a lot of the same things. It's, it's all about, uh, again, how to be successful on a budget. Uh, the inter interesting thing about this is that the author, Neil Roberts, has a similar background to mine. Um, we we're both uh, aerospace engineers. We both had, had some experience with the defense industry. Uh, he's a car designer. Um, I've worked mostly with aircraft in my non-racing career. Um, he has done a lot with uh, car design. And so 
uh, he's uh, got some really good advice in this book about the things that you can do uh, to spend your money wisely. Uh, so for instance, uh, a lot of people often wonder, is it is it worth spending my money here or here or there? Uh, and, and he'll go through in this book um, where it makes sense to spend money and where it doesn't. And he talks about a lot of the same things that you'll see in some of the other books um, in terms of uh, also going through technique um, and uh, uh, racecraft and driving um, um, uh, skill aspects as well. So it's not just all about uh, budget stuff, things like that. But it's in fact, I think it's mostly more about the you know being a fast driver, uh, which is why it's called Think Fast. Uh, it's not think cheap, it's think fast. It's, it is about driving. Uh, but uh, what we like about it from a budget standpoint is that it complements all these other books in that it'll show you how to go fast um, without going uh, too deeply in debt. In fact, some people recommended that this is an excellent complement to a book that we covered in our last video, which I, I have right here, um, uh, Ultimate Speed Secrets by Ross Bentley. Uh, there are some people, when we looked this up, uh, said that these two books together uh, uh, actually uh, do quite well, uh, that they got a lot more out of reading these books together uh, than they did out of reading them separately. So uh, we'll, we'll put the uh, link to this book in the description as well. Uh, we did talk about this in our last video. If you haven't seen that, uh, go check that out. Uh, it, we'll talk more about it, uh, but uh, we'll put another link to it. Uh, along with a link to this book as well. And I, I think this one was about $15 on Amazon as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, I could be wrong, it would have been 25. I'm saying that because there's a sticker on the back of the book that says 25. But um, again, this one was recommended very strongly by our driver, Ryan Natsky, who's our autocross driver. So that is our second book today. And our last book today is also a recommendation from Ryan. Um, <clears throat> as I mentioned, about five seconds ago, Ryan is our autocross driver, and he's been very good at autocross. He's won uh, uh, several events, he's won regional championships, um, and uh, this was a book that he recommended, Secrets of Solo Racing, and this is written by a man named Henry Watts, and it has a picture of a nice Porsche on it. <clears throat> is that right? Porsche? Porsche? I can't remember if you're supposed to say Porsche or Porsche anymore, so... Tell me in the comments which is the correct way to say that, because I'm sure I get it wrong. Anyway, if you're interested in autocross, and the reason why we're covering this on this video, because this was our uh, For Racers on a Budget video, autocross is an excellent way to get started, because you can autocross everything from a grocery getter to a built up from the ground up, you know, modified open wheel, open cockpit race car. Uh, autocross is fantastic because you can Within autocross, you can you can learn and you can grow and you can start to get a taste of everything that motorsports is going to bring to you. Uh, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful sport. It's where our team started. Uh, it's where we often recommend people on our development program uh, look at to start if they don't want to spend a lot of money on a car. Um, they generally can run what they've got. And even if it's not a fast car, you still learn a lot about the technique and the sport and the rules, things like that. So um, if you're interested in getting an autocross, this might be a good book to get. In fact, this is definitely a good book to get. Uh, it's very highly recommended uh, on Amazon. And again, we will put the link to the book as we do with all the other books. Uh, this one was about 15 bucks on Amazon. And this was pretty comprehensive because it goes through everything from you know, when you get to the track to learning the course and understanding the course and understanding what you need to do to get around it fast, um, it goes through car preparation, uh, what you need to do to set your car up correctly for autocross. Depending on what class you're running in, you may have a lot of things you can set up. You may not. Sometimes you have very few knobs you can turn. Maybe it just is tire pressure or something like that. Uh, this book will kind of help you to understand what you need to do to, to be competitive. Uh, it even covers things like uh, working the track. Uh, autocrossers generally will, when they're not driving, will go out and uh, shag uh, cones or, or flag uh, on the, the course uh, when other people are running. So it goes through the entire experience, so it'll also give you a good idea of what it's like to be in an autocross if you've never been at one. Um, but it'll go through a lot of the, the things that you're going to need to know to be successful early on. So uh, this is a book that would have been great to have years ago when I was first starting. Uh, it probably would have saved me a lot of uh, learning things the hard way. So recommend this book, uh, Secrets of Solo Racing. Um, 
check the link down below. And hopefully, if you're interested in autocross, you can get a copy of this book, and that uh, will, will help you advance quicker. All right, thanks to everyone for, for checking out our recommended uh, reading list. Um, I don't know if we're going to do these videos in the future, but if you've got a book that you think that we should uh, review and let everyone know about, go ahead and put that in the comments as well, and we'll check it out. And if we get some good recommendations, we'll do another one of these videos uh, down the road. Um, but uh, thanks for viewing. We appreciate it. We hope we gave you some useful information, and we hope that you check out some of these books and, uh, and that they help you. So... Um, with that, we will say goodbye for this video, and I will see you on the next lap. Bye, everybody.